The Bernina 480 has a place where you can combine decorative stitches as well as alphabets. So when you do touch your letter tab, you do see different alphabets that you can choose and different styles with open block. There's usually numbers and punctuation and <laughs> fun different ones. You'll have to stitch them all out just so you can see what all they look like. Do keep in mind, not all of these are American alphabets. There are some other ones, which actually could be fun to stitch because a row of those, mm, I don't know what it would say, but it could be kind of fun to play with. Now, as you notice by when we're just here and you pick an A, you get a row of A's, not what you were thinking. So start by opening the, touch the plus, and you'll notice if you have anything in here, it was from a previous memory or combination you put together, begin by touching the eye and touching the trash can if there was something in there. Mine is blank and it shows zero items in it. We also have where if we touch this little arrow pointing off to the left side, you can open it all the way up and that's actually how you can get your lowercase, your numbers, your symbols, very easy. Plus, when you spell something out, it spells out across the top. If you do it over here, it just shows you sideways, which actually is the way it's going to stitch. So that's not a bad idea to have that. I've gone ahead and put in six items, and it says that it is on item six down here at the bottom, five, six. And if I want to touch pattern begin, that would bring us back to the beginning. Here's the trick for sewing it out. So let me just, we're just going to stitch out the A, B, C. While it's stitching, it does highlight each of the letters so you know which one it's on. And that's important because when it does get to the F, that is when I'm going to touch pattern end, but not before it. If I touch pattern end now, it will finish the E and not the F. So let's just go ahead. We wait till the F is turned blue and it has touch pattern end. That will end the pattern completely and allow you to get exactly what you are planning to see when it's stitched out. So once again, go in. I'm going to touch the eye, trash can, everything. You will have to touch it each time that you want to delete something until it's perf all the way clear. Let's go ahead and do that one more time, but let's do it with the whole screen opened up, touching that little arrow at the top. So if we wanted to spell out Bernina in both uppercase and lowercase letters, we can see if I'm spelling it correctly. Again, if I come back in, if I put in the wrong letter, I can arrow, highlight, delete, insert. I can do all those things. That would be just something to play with. And you also have a space. If you're on the capital letters and you slide down, nope, not on the capital letters, it's in the, there it is, it's on the punctuation. With the first part, that's like an underscore, and so that would give you the space if you were putting more than one letter between things. So let's just go ahead. It's going to, let's push pattern begin, so it doesn't start on the A, it starts on the B, and we'll stitch it out. Once again, if I don't want it to be Bernina, 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 we can see where, keep an eye on your screen, when the A turns blue, that is when we're going to push pattern end. Here we are. Sometimes I pause, that letter does not take long to stitch, and then you'll have exactly the letter you're looking for. There we go. So super fun. Um, I might, I usually don't cut between that uh, letter uh, with the uh, little dot at the top, but today I might. Uh, you might put a little fray check on there so it doesn't unravel. If I wanna save this, let's go ahead and just talk about that real quick. We can come down to the heart, uh, touch the third one down, that's the folder with the arrow pointing into it, and it will ask me to confirm I wanna save that particular combination and I can. When I'm done, I can come back, delete everything out. How about, I'm gonna put in one more combination to save, and then that way I can just show you. So A, B, C, I wanna save this, touch the heart, touch the third one down, we're putting it in the folder, and confirm. So I'm gonna delete this out really quick. Um, not here, but that is where you delete it when you are done, is I'm gonna to touch the I, touch the trash can, so I'm closing the memory with nothing in it. There we go. <laughs> and if I go back to a, not a, let's see here, oh, I gotta get out of the memory. Touch the trash can, 
touch the plus. Now I'm completely out of the memory and I can go back to, I just want to go back to a straight stitch. So how do we retrieve Bernina? How do we retrieve the ABC? When you go to the heart, here's the trick. When you go to the heart, there's only three choices. Bringing out stitches you've saved, putting things into it, and the trash can. You must actually touch the plus and then you get that uh, four different options and that new one, the, the little folder with the three squares and the arrow pointing out, that's the one you touch. Then you can go ahead and retrieve, say, the Bernina and stitch it out. If you want to delete a combination you've uh, saved, touch the trash can, choose the one you want to delete, confirm with the green check, and I'm going to delete them both just because I am completely done. And that is all you need to do. So you can save, you can retrieve, and when you want to get in and out of your memory, don't forget, touch the plus.